Here I'm going to be attacking this AVR microcontroller which is running AES using side channel analysis. So I plug it into this board which is connected to my chip whisperer which is basically just a oscilloscope type device I've designed. Um, power that on and we can start the capture trace. So this will download firmware to the device to the FPGA in here and then it starts doing captures of the microcontroller power while it's running AES encryption. All right, so we can see that's done now. Save the project. It's okay. And now I'm just going to run the power analysis attack. So this is the waveform that I just recorded. Um, and we just run attack. So now it's analyzing the traces I just recorded using a correlation power analysis. So we can, can look back at the traces here. So this is the AES running here. Um, so the area of interest is somewhere in this region here, which we're going to find once the analysis is done. There we go. Um, so if I go back to the original window here, this was the key that I sent to the device to use the encryption. So I know what the key is, this 2B7E. And if we read along the top here, we can see it successfully recovered the key using correlation power analysis. And if you want, you can turn on this plot to show you where in that trace the key bytes, uh, the key material is being used. So for example, byte 15 is being used somewhere later on here, um, byte 8. You can turn on and we can see that's used earlier on in the algorithm so if you go along you'll almost see this these peaks building along um, as it's running each byte in the software AES implementation so there you go there's chip whisper running the correlation power analysis